Hey, what is up guys, and today I'm going to be showing you the top 10 Android apps of March 2016. So the first app up is Screenshot Join, and the app allows you to take a long screenshot of all the content on your page that you're looking at, which is similar to a function on the Note 5. It works by taking two screenshots and then the app automatically stitches them together. This saves you from having multiple screenshots to share to people and instead you can just share the one and it's also a lot quicker. It's fairly simple but I do think it's useful and I do like it a lot so uh, yeah. It's worth checking out and it can let you capture more content from whatever you're looking at. The link is down below and it's free in the Play Store. Up next is Screener and this app allows you to display a screenshot into a frame of a device. It allows you to add a background as well as additional effects. They have material design frames, smart watch frames, and live rendering, and overall it's the best way to make a super clean minimal screenshot to share with friends. I also think it looks pretty cool to post on social media, and I've even used it to make a thumbnail in a past video that I made quite a long time ago, so it's definitely worth checking out. The next app up is Material App Showcase. This app's really good if you want to find some neat looking material design apps with a clean and simple interface. There are tons of simple but elegant apps in here, which only really do basic tasks, but they do them very well. All of these apps are fun and just pleasant to use overall, so if you like minimal efficient apps, then go check out this Showcase app. Okay, so up next is a really handy one if you want to record your screen. Now this is AZ Screen Recorder, and it's in my opinion the best screen recorder out there. It allows you to change your resolution all the way up to your device's display, and you can select up to 60 frames per second as well, so when you're recording it's also really smooth. Now you can also turn on the option to view your front facing camera while recording as well as your microphone so you can actually narrate over your video and talk to people. Also when it's running it doesn't slow down your device at all and it can be simply stopped from inside the notification pull down and the video will be stored as a standard mp4 in your gallery and you can share that with your friends. My phone is the next app up and this is useful if you're thinking about changing your device but just really don't know which one to choose. Or maybe you're just interested in comparing device specs then this app's also really good for you guys. It allows you to view side-by-side -side specifications and features of any two devices you preference within the app. It's really useful to see them next to each other instead of flicking back and forwards between web pages, and it gets frequently updated with new devices, so the new iPhone SE and the S7 Edge is already in the app, and you can compare them side-by-side. -side. You can also change between three different options for the theme, which is also a really nice touch. Okay, so this one is a client for Reddit, which I personally really love as you can change the colors of the app. And there's also an AMOLED mode, which reduces the power usage by using blacks as the background. The app has a material design interface and it's super smooth and nice to use. There's a premium version, but the light version doesn't contain any ads that will annoy you or anything. So don't worry about that. And the only thing you don't get is some of the features of the premium version. So it's my favorite client and I'd recommend it. So go check it out. Pin tasking is next, and this lets you pin task on the side of a screen, as well as switching back and forwards between frequently used apps by pulling down on either the left or the right side of the notification bar. It's very fast and saves you from going into the app switcher all the time to find the app you are recently using, and instead you can just pull down and it'll quickly transfer you back. At number 8 we have Materialize, and this is an app which allows you to change all the ugly icons into really nice looking material design icons. The app takes the logo of an icon that you have on your phone, and then allows you to choose the background template in order to make it look more material design. It improves the look of the functional apps you may have like Citrix or maybe some banking apps, but you don't really like the icon because it just looks really bad. Mikopi Pico is a strange name indeed, and this is at number 9. So this is an app which gets rid of those boring blank contact photos that pop up when you haven't assigned a photo to your contact. This app allows you to select all your contacts that you don't have a photo for, and give them a cool kind of styled pattern with the first letter of their contact name on it to spice up your phone app a little bit, and it makes it less bland. That's all it really does, but it makes your contacts look way nicer and when they phone you it's just a little bit more pleasant than a grey box with kind of an outline of a person. Finally at number 10 we have Polygon and this app allows you to create awesome artwork, kind of similar to Justin Mallers, but his work is really good. It takes an image you give it and it adds a polygon effect to it which makes it look really nice for wallpapers or posting on social media or sending to your friends. You can change the tint of the polygon shapes as well as the size to get your image exactly what you're looking for. And it's super fun to make cool new wallpapers out of super old boring ones. So it's definitely worth checking out. And these are my 10 favorite apps of the month. 
I really do use these apps and I find them really really useful. I don't try and throw in any unuseful apps. All these apps I put in my videos are apps that I do actually use and um, I, I definitely recommend them. So the links will be down below. If you'd like to know anything else just comment and I'll reply pretty quickly. And I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.